What's good, y'all? Welcome to another edition of Call Out TV. This is your boy, Job ja, Man. And there was a violent robbery last month in Washington Heights. Two men walk in the streets and they were violently robbed, violently assaulted, man. But you gotta understand something to all my NYC residents. You know there's nothing good that's happening outside past 10 o'clock at night, man. Especially when you know all of this crime that's going on. People are getting killed at them hours. Police rotate shifts around them hours. They're not patrolling the streets like that. So when you outside on them late nights, man, and you ain't got your blicky on you, Something can happen to you just like that. Now, these two men, they were walking. Two niggas approached them, backed out straps on them. One of them had their hands up. And then another dude, the third person, just came out of nowhere. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna get into the video, man. Just, this is just sad because a sad and unfortunate situation, man. But you know, living out here in New York, man, if you out in them hours, man, you better have a blicky on you. You better have a dog on you. you a knife is not even safe. You know what I'm saying? You better have a blicky or vicious dog, man, that's gonna hold you down in them hours, man. You don't walk around with all the latest foreign designers and you don't think that something's gonna happen to you, man can't feel sorry for dudes like this. You know why? Because they're going to go back out there and they're going to do the same shit. They're going to continue to keep making these mistakes until they end up losing their life, man. But let's get into this video reaction. This is a video from last month, man. It's violent, too. This is, this is real violent. It's real bad. Real ugly, y'all. Center, we've shown you quite a few robberies, and that's because it is one of the highest rising crimes, not only here in our borough, the Bronx, but throughout the city. And I'm going to show you one of those incidents right now out of Inwood. Take a look at my screen here. You see these two men, I'm going to pause it really quick so you can take a closer look. You see these two men right here robbing this man right here, and uh, this man has his hands up. Now take a look at what happens. You're going to see this guy run up and punch him to the ground. Now here you see that he starts taking his items. This man is then slammed to the ground. It looks like he's unconscious. You could have broke his fucking neck. The other two dudes, they, they just wanted whatever the items they had on them. Heard they had some Cartier glasses. Heard they had a couple of hundreds of dollars on them. One of the men, the man I slammed on the floor, his Louis belt that he had on was took off for him. And just like these dudes right here, this is why the black community is the way that it is, man. You know what I'm saying? We'll never prosper, man, you know, as a community. Y'all just seen the, the, the recent shootings that's been going on in Buffalo. How those 10 innocent people were shot and killed by a white man, you would think that we would come together, man, as a community and stop and put an end to this black on black crime. But unfortunately, you're gonna have, you know, ghetto mothers, the shenanigans of the world. You know how they like to call us pookies, but the shenanigans of the world are gonna continue to keep breeding young savages like this that grow up without a father figure in the household and the mother is, is, is left to raise them. The mother takes on the father role as well as the mother role. So they don't, they're they dealing with emotional mothers, single mothers that no man wants. They're probably on welfare. It's, it's a sad and unfortunate situation. So these dudes, I can guarantee you that, 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 that robbed these two civilians right here, I can guarantee you they live with their mother. They don't have a place of their own. 
or they might link up in a trap house and you know what I'm saying bullshit over there and, and, and come up with plans how they're gonna hurt and harm innocent civilians. You could tell by the body language of these dudes. These dudes wasn't no no, no tough gangster niggas like you know what I'm saying. Even when the nigga had his hands up, you could tell he was a non-threatening dude. This bitch ass nigga just came out of nowhere and just sucker punched him. Cause those are always the herd pussy niggas, niggas that have been bullied up in their life. They finally got a little team around them and they wanna they they you know them little pussy niggas, they wanna sucker punch you in. There was no need for that. Cause the the other two mans already had to drop on them already. They just wanted their belongings. See the nigga right here that with the black hoodie on and shit. You got the nigga back down with the gun and shit. Like it was good, but you you had to do more and put on extra. And like you know what I mean? That shit is crazy, bro. You could tell they look like bombs. Look at his tent. The nigga that slammed the, the dude in the all white. This nigga right here with the black coat on. Look how bummy and dusty and dirty he look. I'm not the best looking nigga in the world, but I'm not gonna be out here harming innocent civilians, bro. I'm not doing that. I'd rather get me a job, bro. There's no excuse for this. Because now I heard they saying the NYPD done already caught one of them already, and there's still two that's on the loose. So it's like, that shit is like, what you getting out of that? A couple of hundreds of dollars? What the Cardi is? But all that shit don't mean nothing, man. When that just set bail for you and you can't make bail, or they don't give you bail at all. This is a violent robbery, bro. You know? But I blame these dudes, man, because they should already know. Like, come on, Washington Heights, out of all places, you're going to be traveling. 3 o'clock in the morning with no gun on you, nothing, no protection, no dog, no nothing. Even if you got the dog, you can still get shot. Like four months ago, I reported a female, uh, a Spanish female. She was in a corner bodega and some dude just opened fire on another nigga in there and ended up killing her and her dog. You feel me? So it's like, shit is crazy, bro. You could just be an innocent bystander. Shit don't got nothing to do with you. And, you know what I mean? She had her dog. She had like the, the dog that she had. It looked like it was a vicious ass pit bull too. You know what I'm saying? But once the bullets started touching that body and shit, that shit curled up in the corner in the store and died. Along with the owner. That shit was sad. You know, the only thing, I hope that they pass the laws where, you know, we have the right to bear arms. Because we should, you know, People that's civilians, that's not in the gang culture, they should be able to protect themselves. Because look how long it takes for police or the ambulance to come on the scene. The damage is already done already. See how long they take just to come for a vicious stabbing or, or a homicide? They take forever to come, bro. You got to be able, you know, the regular nine to five people that got clean records. And I heard that they trying to pass a law for that now, and Mayor Adams is, is, is one of those dudes that's rallying against that. He's like the poster child for rallying against that, because he's saying that there's already enough gun violence and shit like that. But y'all, the criminals got guns. Y'all don't, y'all don't think that the good people should be allowed to have guns too to protect themselves? It is in the, it, it is in the amendment to bear arms, man. Just like how they bear arms in them southern states. We should, you know, we should be able to protect ourselves, man. This is crazy, man. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta, you know, and there's no reason why you should be out that late, three o'clock in the morning, unless you got a job, you, you going to your job, or, you know what I'm saying? That's the only way, but other than that, you should be in the house with your family, because you know the crime at NYC has skyrocketed, and the mayor don't even know what to do. You know what I'm saying? It's like the criminals took over the city. Every day somebody is getting killed. As I'm speaking right now, somebody is, is somewhere getting tortured, about to lose their life, or probably already lost their life already as I'm speaking. You know? People die every day, somebody's born every day, but just 
please, y'all, if y'all live in NYC, just safe up and just be careful out there, man. Don't be outside that early and there was nothing outside but trouble. Dogs like this that's looking to take advantage of the civilians, man. That's why you should be in the house with your family at them hours so shit like this won't happen to you. This nigga could have broke your fucking neck. I know the way he dropped him. He hurts. He cracked something on him, man. I don't know if he cracked his neck or what, but y'all get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about this shit, man. After that, because he's not getting up. And then these three men right here proceed to start to, to rob this man, both men, of all of their items. Then slam to the him to the ground. Now here you see that he starts taking his items right here, robbing this man right here. And uh, this man has his hands up. Now take a look at what happens. You're going to see this guy run up and punch him to the ground. Now here you see that he starts... Sucker shit. He wouldn't have did that by himself, man. You know what I'm saying? He wouldn't have did that by himself. I'm not condoning what the other two niggas did, but they ain't do all of that extra shit, man. They was just pressing them for their items, took their items, and was going to make them just, they was going to go. But this nigga right here is like, <laughs> you always got that pussy nigga out the crew that want to try to prove something with his dusty ass, faded ass tempos on. Was fucking at the end of April. And you wearing a fucking bubble jacket. You look stupid, bro. Taking his items. This man is then slammed to the ground. It looks like he's unconscious after that because he's not getting up. And then these three men right here proceed to start to, to rob this. Nigga could have cracked his skull, man. You know what I mean? I hope y'all niggas in NYC, and you ain't even got to be from NYC, any hood in America, man. You know what I mean? You got to be careful, man. You can't be outside them hours, man. Because it's nothing but, you know what I mean, the stick-up kids, the prostitutes, you know what I mean? And you got the hustlers outside, so you, you can't be outside them hours. Man. Them hours is not for civilians. It's off limits. And if you do got to travel, you better have a hammer on you. Man, both men of all of their items. I'm going to pull this up on your screen so you can take a closer look. Just want to warn you, this is uh, very disturbing to watch. But this happened Monday, April 25th at 3.05 a.m. on 9th Avenue and West 203rd Street. Uh, it was a 35-year-old and a 40-year-old that were robbed of their chain. Two rings, belt, glasses, $1,320 and their phone and their IDs. And you see that it's just very disturbing to watch. The alert look, center, we've shown... Look how he's dragging a man, bro, like a rag doll, man. Like he a bitch, bro. That's how them, that's how them booty bandit niggas be doing in jail, bro. Knock you out, take your shit, man. I'm taking milk and cookies, man. Paul's no homo, but y'all understand what I'm, what I'm, what I'm getting here, man. After he slammed the nigga, he was just dragging him around, son. Like, that's why pussy niggas feel like they got some type of control, man. Shit like that get me mad. That shit get me upset, bro. Because I know you a bitch, bro. You ain't got no heart. You would never do no, no crime by yourself, nigga. You need your punk-ass homeboys, bro, to help you. you know what I'm saying? Like, you a bitch, bro. That shit, I don't even know these niggas, but the way they being treated and uh, viciously assaulted during the robbery, that shit is crazy, bro. Like, on you quite a few robberies, and that's because it is one of the highest rising crimes, not only here in our borough, the Bronx, but throughout the city. And I'm going to show you one of those really quick so you can take a closer look. You see these two men right here robbing this man right here. And uh, this man has his hands up. Now take a look at what happens. You're going to see this guy run up and punch him to the ground. Now here you see that he starts taking his items. This man is then slammed to the ground. 
He looks like he's unconscious after that because he's not getting up. And then these three men right here proceed to start to, to rob this man, both men, of all of their items. I'm going to pull this up on your screen so you can take a closer look. Just want to warn you, this is uh, very disturbing to watch. But this happened Monday, April 25th at 3.05 a.m. on 9th Avenue and West 203rd Street. Uh, it was a 35-year-old and a 40-year-old that were robbed of their chain, two rings, belt, glasses, $1,320 and their phone and their IDs. And you see that it's just very disturbing to watch. Well, that's not the end of it because five minutes later at 310 at 431 West 202nd Street, police tell us. They were a bitch ass nigga right there, man. They all look like they part of some type of Dominican gang, like the Trinitarios or some shit, man. The Trini niggas. Because you got to look at the location of where they at, you know, and, and look at all of them on the camera, they all look like they Hispanic. They all look Dominican. So yeah, but this was vicious and brutal, man. So those three men approached a 20 year old woman and stole her purse, AirPods, and $250. And both instances, those people were robbed at gun. They also robbed a 20 year old girl while she was sitting in her car at gunpoint. So these these men, these group of men, they've been on a mission to terrorize the Washington Heights area. Point. Now, police have arrested one man in connection to this robbery, 29-year-old Angel Pimentel, and he's facing two robbery charges. But two of those men are still on the loose, and police are looking for them. And we're going to wait here in the alert center for uh, the identity of these two men right here. And once we find that out, we will let you know. Katie? Y'all, this shit crazy, man. Y'all get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think. This your boy, Cole House TV. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We got more content on the way.